All right, so now that we've integrated Xcode with our GitHub account, I wanna show you how easy it is to pull a repository down from GitHub to your computer so that you can work on it. Um, this is the primary way that you will get all of your labs for the course. So again, we are going to fire up Xcode and we do that like we did before with command space. And once Xcode comes up, we have this initial uh, starting page. And you'll notice right here, it says clone an existing repository. That's what we wanna click on. Rather than creating a new project, we're gonna clone something that already exists. And when we do that, um, because I've already put my credentials in for Margaret Hamilton, we can see that I can see her three repositories that she could pick from. And I'm gonna pick the Hello World because that's a repository that I've made from our previous Hello World example that we did. So we'll click clone and eventually it will come back and say, hey, where would you like to put it? So uh, documents directory is fine for me. Uh, I'm going to accept that and I'll just replace what I had there before, no problem. And now what we've done is we've taken the repository that was in GitHub and we've brought it down onto our computer and it's here ready for us to work on. So let's uh, do the normal things here. I'm going to go up and select my favorite um, simulator there and I'm going to do Command B to do a quick compile. And then I'm going to do a resume. And we are up and running. And so it is literally that simple. Now, let's suppose that we've been working on this for a while and we want to submit our work back up to GitHub so that the uh, instructor can grade it. So let's just uh, make a, another change here. What I'm going to do is I'll put this um, in a VStack, don't worry about, if you don't understand what I'm doing here, that's all covered in the Swift UI modules that we cover in the course. I'm just making a few changes here so that we can see these changes when we upload them. So I'm gonna have two text fields now, one stacked on top of the other. Notice when it doesn't show up here, it's prompting us to hit resume. We'll just hit resume and we should get two and we do. So now we've made a change and we've got this set of code here, just remember that code because we're gonna see it in a second when we go to GitHub. So now we basically are ready to do what we call commit these changes and then push them up to GitHub. So to do that, we do option command C and we can see a set of things over here that it says have changed and it's checked off a couple of items here. And of course we could click on this, for example, this particular file, and I get a beautiful view that it shows, you know, here's the old code. This is what we had before. This is what we brought down. Here's what our new code looks like. And so this is perfect. This is just showing us, um, yep, these are the differences that I would expect. You don't have to click through these to look at these. You can just accept the fact that it's marked all of these. You're going to come down here to this section and you're going to enter an explanation of what you did so that if you had to go back and look at your GitHub history over time, this would be a clue as to what was going on. So here we might just say uh, added another uh, text uh, view uh, in a stack. Again, this is for you, whatever you want. Then we're going to come down here and click this push to remote. Um, the branch that we're on, again, it, we haven't covered branches yet. The main branch is the one that you'll always be on. So you never really need to change that. And then we'll come over here to the right and it says commit two files and push. Now, if this is not highlighted for some reason, it's probably because some things aren't checked off over here. So we need at least one file checked. And usually it will auto check all of them. Every once in a while I've had a case where it doesn't, in which case you'll wanna just check them and then it should check them from then on. And so we're gonna do uh, commit two files and push. And so it says pushing and it's done. So that's how easy it is to submit your assignment back up to GitHub for grading. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna go to Safari and I'm gonna go to GitHub and I'm already still logged in under Margaret Hamilton, which is great. And I'm gonna go over here and I can see um, different repos. Here's the Hello World one. And I'm gonna click on that. And if I look down in here and I go into my Hello World directory, 
and I go down to my content view.swift file, that's the file that I modified and I click on it, sure enough, I can see the changes right here. So all of the code that I've uh, modified gets pushed back up to GitHub and it's easy for somebody else to review.